Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video and today I wanted to make a video to compare Kittle with Illustrator. And so in these last weeks, I've been trying new programs and new softwares in order to find the best design tool for me and my needs and my print-on-demand business. And so if you're trying to figure out which tool is right for you, then this video could be for you, okay? So let's go right in. So before we go further, I just wanted to explain where I'm coming from and what exactly are my needs and what I've been doing in the last in the last years. And so to be completely honest, I'm not really a professional designer or anything as of right now. I mean, my goal right now is to improve my graphic design skills, but I, I don't really consider myself a professional designer, okay? And so, yes, I have a print-on-demand business and yes, I have an Amazon merch business and yes, I create a lot of designs for these things, but you see, most of the designs that I create are mostly coming from Canva or they're coming from AI. And so, yes, I create graphic designs, but I don't really consider a graphic designer. I'm mostly like... Uh, I use illustrations from Canva and I use AI to create designs. And so that's basically my background, okay? But as of right now, my goal is to improve my designing skills in a way that is relevant with today's technologies, okay? And so right now we have AI and yes, we have tools like Canva and Kittle and Illustrator. And my goal here is to compare these tools and in the last week, I've tried them a little bit, so I'm just going to share what I've learned so far, okay? okay? So let's first of all start with what is exactly Illustrator. And Illustrator is a vector graphic uh, program made by Adobe. And as of right now, it is the industry standard program for everything related to uh, designing, okay? And basically Adobe has some sort of monopole and owns a bunch of very important software in the creative industry and so illustrator is one of them okay but they also created photoshop and they created premiere pro and they have a bunch of tools that are very very popular okay and so they're known for creating the best softwares and it's been that way for many, many years because Adobe is a pretty huge and old company. Okay, so next, what is Kittle? So Kittle is an online designing platform that you use with your browser. And so as of right now, there's no application and there's no program that you install on your computer. And if you're familiar with Canva, it's quite very similar to Canva, meaning that everything is online. There's a bunch of illustration and it's quite easy to use and there's a bunch of templates. But the main difference between Canva and Kittle is that Kittle specializes in the niche of print on demand, okay? And so Canva, yes, you can create a lot of designs, but Canva kind of kind of turned out to be a tool where you can basically do everything. And so in Canva, you can do, yes, graphic designs, but you can also make videos, social posts, websites, and all kinds of things. But Kittle, the great thing about Kittle is that they do print on demand mostly. And so that's really interesting. Okay, so now let's talk about the pricing because it's always about the pricing, right? And so Illustrator, since it is probably the best uh, program to create graphic designs it is obviously the most expensive one because it is known and it has notoriety in all of these things and so there is two ways to get the illustrator you can either get it individually uh, from adobe for 30 canadian dollars per month and you can also get illustrator in the creative cloud subscription that basically includes all the adobe's program and products but in that case the cheapest plan is 79 dollars per month canadian dollars so yes if you're choosing to go that way then it is pretty expensive okay and so this here are the regular prices 
but there are ways for you to lower these prices and I actually found a way to get the student plan which is cheaper here and so if you're interested in this video then you can check that video okay and so now let's talk about Kittle and Kittle has three main subscription plan there's the free plan which to be completely honest is kind of useless and a bit annoying but you can try it out if that's something that you want to do and then there's the pro version and the expert version and you can choose a monthly or yearly payment and so if you choose the pro version then it, it ends up being $15 per month and then the expert version is $30 per month. I personally think that the most interesting plans are the pro plan and the expert plan and basically the differences between these two plans are the amounts of credits that you get uh, from these plans and when I say credit I basically mean the AI credit because every time that you use AI it basically you basically use a credit and you have a certain amount of credit per month okay and so in this case with the pro version you have 100 credit per month and with the expert version you can basically choose the number of credit that you want every month and another thing that changed with these uh, subscription here is the amount of projects that you can have uh, on your subscription. And so here on Pro, you have 100 projects. And here on the Expert, you have unlimited projects. And also another difference is the upload space that you have. And so the Pro version, you have 10 gigabytes while on the expert version you have 100 gigabytes and so my thoughts about this is that you can manage to do everything with the pro version okay and so first of all let's talk about the ai because i've tried the ai and to be completely honest the ai yes you have, a, you have a bunch of ai features but it is not necessarily the best ai and so I personally think that yes, AI is pretty cool, but there are other ways to get AI. And so in my case, I personally think that the pro version is the most interesting one because I mean, I use AI from elsewhere. And so for me, I don't think that I need to pay for more AI, but in your case, that could be interesting. And the other limitation with the pro version is that you're limited with, with the amount of projects that you have. Well, there's a, something that you can do is that, you know, in my case, when I create designs and when I create projects, like once I created my designs and I downloaded it on my computer, I don't really need the design anymore because I'm gonna save it uh, in my files and in my drive. And so what you can do here is that if you don't want to deal with the limitation, okay, I'm just gonna make a quick simple design here. Okay, let's say for example that I have this design and then I'm done with it. I uh, just wanted to save. Yes, thank you. If you don't want to deal with the project limitation, so what you can do is that once you're done with the project, you can simply delete it. And so since you have it on your computer, and you make sure that you download it first, okay, then you're good, okay? And so you don't have to deal with the uh, project limitation and you don't have to deal with the upload space because you're going to delete uh, your your projects and your designs uh, as you go, okay? And so I think personally that for most people, you can deal with the pro version. Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is features and AI tools, okay? So let's start with Illustrator and Illustrator has an insane amount of tools and this is exactly why they're the best at, at what they do because they have all basically all the the important feature, the insane amount of feature, okay? But to be completely honest, for me as a beginner, it feels really, really intimidating. And so yes, like if you go through all these menus, there's a bunch of features like that. I, I don't know what those are, okay? And to be honest, as of right now, I only learned 
what I think are the most important features. So I learned about the pen tool, I learned about uh, the shape tools, I learned about the text tool, and also learned about the image trace tool, which I think are probably the most important tools as of right now. With Illustrator, you're able to make really, really complicated designs. Now let's talk about the AI. And so basically Illustrator uh, uses Adobe Firefly AI, which is basically included in all the plans that you, if you choose to go that way, it's included in all the plans. So if you go with Illustrator, Adobe uh, Firefly is included. And if you go with Creative Cloud, then Firefly is also included uh, as well. But to be completely honest, I tested Firefly, but personally, I think that the best AI as of right now is Delhi 3 coming from ChatGPT and OpenAI. Now, Kittle also includes a bunch of tools, and the great thing about Kittle is that they only include the tools that are relevant to print on demand mostly, okay? And so you have a bunch of AI image vectorizer, AI quote generator, SVG converter, uh, vector generator, which is really cool. And then if you go into the editor in in Kittle, you get only the, the tools that you would see on platforms like Canva. And so me coming from Canva, I feel much more at home with Kittle because this menu here showing text, elements, templates, and all these things, I feel at home because with Canva, which is the program that I learned before, I feel much more at home and I kind of know what I'm doing here. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is related to templates and elements. One of the bad things that I don't like about Illustrator is that there are not any easy templates or elements that you can use like right away. And so the idea of Illustrator is that you start and you build literally from scratch. And so if you want to use elements or if you want to use templates, most of the time you have to import elements or you import templates from external sources, okay? And so for example, if I choose new, uh, there's a bunch of templates here that you can go into, uh, but there are not that many. And these templates are basically coming from Adobe stocks. And yes, those can be useful, but they're not that many and you don't have that many choice. And if you want more templates, then you kind of have to go on Adobe Stock, uh, which you're going to have to pay because Adobe Stock is another subscription, okay? And the bad thing with Adobe Stock is yes, it's external, and yes, it's a, it's a subscription, but you basically have to pay $40, okay? The price is $40. Uh, Canadian dollars per month and you're only limited to 10 assets and so I think this is really annoying and very limiting okay why is it only limited to 10 a 10 assets per month I think this is really really annoying and so I personally think that Illustrator doesn't have any templates doesn't have any elements and if you want elements from Adobe then you have to get the lim very limited, expensive uh, subscription from Adobe Stock. But you're not obligated to use Adobe Stock. I mean, there's all obviously other alternatives, but it's just that Adobe promotes uh, their own softwares and their own subscriptions. And so that's kind of what it is. And so if you're not aware of this, then you're kind of stuck with a white page, okay? And so it's easy on the Illustrator to just get stuck on the white page because you don't have any templates to give you ideas and you don't have any elements to work with. But Kittle here has a bunch of templates. And so here, if I need some ideas, then here there's a bunch of templates here that I can look at and I can literally edit, choose and edit. Let's say for example that I kind of like this one about urban vibes then I can just take this one and change it to my liking, okay? So I can write my name, Frank, and then I can move things around. And so I think this is really, really cool. And another thing about the elements is that just like Canva here, 
uh, in Kittle, you can basically select some elements. And if, for example, I want a certain dog in my design, then I can just search for dogs in the element libraries, then I can search for dogs illustration and then add it to my design. So this is kind of just like Canva, which I really, really like. In Canva, I was using the elements a lot. Another thing about templates in Kittle is that you can publish your designs to the community on the website. Just like I said before, like everything here, all the templates that you see here are all coming from other people, okay? And so basically everybody can publish their own designs and your designs basically become template on the platform on Kittle. And so for example here, I have a design that I made here and it is available on, on Kittle. But the cool thing about Kato is that when you create templates like these, they obviously become available on Kato, but every time that your template is used on the platform, you'll receive a payout at the end of the month, okay? And so by, by creating a design, you can make even more money because every, every time that someone uses your templates, you're basically I'm assuming getting some sort of money or some sort of payout every time that your template every time that your template is being used. So I don't know how that works exactly, but I think this is pretty cool. I, I'm assuming here that you have to apply or whatever. So I don't know how that works, but I think this is really cool because it is a way to create your own designs but to also create template for passive income both in the same time. Now, the next point that I wanted to talk about is editing images and vectors, okay? Mostly vectors because this is kind of where I think uh, Kittle is missing a little bit, okay? And so in Kittle, uh, yes, you can import here. I have uh, an image of Inkscape, okay? This is a SVG file and yes, you, I can import it, I can use it, and the image still looks good even though I make the image bigger. But the problem here is that, yes, uh, I might also be able to change the color uh, from the SVG, but ultimately what I don't like about Kittle is that even though I have an SVG here, I'm not able to like edit the SVG. And if I can, at least I haven't found a way yet. So yes, I'm able to change the color, but I'm not able to edit the, the vector file. So I, I, I think that's a little bit annoying. And this is basically where Illustrator really, really shines. And so here I just imported this, this logo in Illustrator and now I can like start moving things around. So I have this gradient here and then I can move all the elements all around. So this is, I wish we could do something like this inside Kittle, but I don't know, maybe that's a feature that we'll see in the future. I personally think that it is quite an important feature because as of right now, AI image generator are not exactly perfect. And these image generator usually make some sort of mistakes or it's not exactly perfect. And so sometimes it's worth it to be able to change this image. And usually what I do is that I transform my images coming from AI generators and I transform them into vectors so that I'm able to modify and change them to my liking. And so if, for example, there's a spelling mistake in my design, then I, I'm able to change it and modify it and correct it using the vector editing software. But here in Kittle, we don't seem able to do that. But you see, I have this problem right now, but I think that as technology and AI evolves, I don't, we might not even need to edit these images in the future, okay? And so right now I have this problem, but maybe at some point AI is going to be so good that it won't make any mistakes, it, it won't make any errors, and because it won't make any errors, then we will no longer need to, to edit these images. Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is the pen tool and the shape tool, okay? And just like I said before, I've tried to learn a little bit about these tools, and 
Coming from Illustrator, one of the most important tools that you're going to use here are going the pen tool, which basically uh, it is that you're able to create some sort of forms and you, that's basically how you draw things and form into uh, the software or whatever. And you also create shapes in order to build uh, some sort of images or illustration, okay? And so in Illustrator, that's how that works, okay? And so basically I just create these shapes here and usually in Illustrator what you would do is that you would work with these shapes to form exactly what you want, okay? And so for example, uh, let's say that I want to build a house, then what I would do is that I would take these two shapes and I would make sure that it looks something like this and then um, oh, I would need to make sure that it's fine, but you use these shapes to build some sort of, of house, okay? But I think that today we don't really need to do that manually and from scratch, okay? Because you see, if I want a house, instead of building it myself, what I can do is that I can go into the element library and then I can search for a house and then I'm gonna get the house to my liking and there you go, okay? And so I don't need to build my own house from scratch. I don't need to build everything from scratch because these houses have already been created, okay? Either from the element library or what you can do also is that you can literally use AI, okay? And so what you can do also is uh, use AI to literally create a house that you want. Okay, so there you go. Now I just created a house using AI. And to be honest, this thing here took me literally five seconds to create and I don't have to go into the uh, big thing in Illustrator in order to create the house that I want from scratch. And personally, when I see something like these, I don't see myself creating uh, everything from scratch and everything using the, the shapes and the pen tool. I think that those tools right now are kind of outdated, okay? That doesn't make sense for me to use that when I can just use AI to create exactly what I want. So I think that the pen tools and the shape tools, these techniques, yes, they might have worked in the past, but I think that as AI evolves, they're, they're probably going to get more and more outdated. So in conclusion, I think that yes, Illustrator gives you full control over your designs because you're literally creating from nothing and you're literally creating from scratch. But ultimately, I think that today is not very necessary to use Illustrator. Kittle, for example, I think Kittle is a better option if your goal is to uh, create print-on-demand designs easily and efficiently without any headaches. Because yes, in this trader, yes, you'll be able to create designs, but ultimately the process is going to be slow and it's going to be painful because you have to learn all the tools and you have to learn all the techniques and you have to do everything manually from scratch. And with Keto, you can use templates, you can use AI, and you can use what people have already done and you can get inspiration from everything. And as a print-on-demand business owner, I also have other things to do than just designing. Yes, one of my goal is to improve my designing skills, but I also have other things to learn. I also have other things to, to care about. And so, for example, I have to do niche research. I have to do social media. I have to create these YouTube videos and the editing. I have to take care of my Amazon Merch account. I have to take care of all my other print on demand accounts like Etsy, Redbubble, The Public, and all these platforms. And as of right now, as someone that is coming from AI, I personally think that Kittle makes much more sense to me than Illustrator. But I also understand the power of Illustrator. And I think that if you want full control over your designs and on the long term, to become a professional designer, I think that Illustrator is the better option to, for people that actually create 
professional designs. So those are my thoughts about Kittle and Illustrator. I think that both are good, but it all depends on your goals and it all depends on what you're trying to achieve. And so I hope that this video was helpful to you. If this video was valuable to you, you could consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And if you have any question, please leave your comment below and I will answer all your questions and finally you could also consider watching this video right here where i explain how i got adobe creative cloud for way cheaper and so that's it for this video okay peace